It was a meeting keen on boosting Kenya and USA trade ties. The summit, organized by the local arm of the American Chamber of Commerce. The visiting delegation, led by America's Under Secretary of Commerce, Gilbert Kaplan, U.S. Presidential Advisory Council on Doing Business in Africa, and 61 business leaders. President Uhuru Kenyatta urging them to invest more locally. We would encourage as much as possible that you partner with us and partner with Kenyan investors because we also have a strong private sector in Kenya. And we encourage you to partner with them and to benefit from their knowledge and they too to benefit from your technology transfer. During the summit, six agreements amounting to close to 10 billion shillings were signed, focusing on energy, health and housing sectors. Among the commercial deals signed included a 4 billion shillings partnership agreement between Rendezvous and Unity Homes for the construction of 1,200 affordable homes in Kiambu County and a 2 billion shillings agreement by Medronic to invest towards the opening of five dialysis centers across the country. Under the government-to-government -government deals, U.S. Trade and Development Agency will provide a grant of 78 million shillings to the Kenya Tea Development Agency, KTDA, for a solar power and battery storage feasibility study. Post-harvest loss is a, is a big problem, and we want to make sure that um, we lengthen the shelf life of whatever uh, our farmers produce. And, and so we want to in, in, install cold chain facilities. Power Africa Initiative will also provide support to state agencies in the energy sector, including Kenjan and Kenya Power, to ensure universal electrification by 2022. A major item that uh, is covered in the deal that we have signed is mainly to look at our power sector in entirety. That is to look at how best we can be able to make efficiency lane within the sector so that uh, the tariffs can, uh, uh, can, be, uh, can be reduced. The government has exuded confidence that the six deals signed today worth 10 billion shillings and others to be signed later will go a long way in the delivery of the Big Four agenda. Mombiwaroe Citizen TV at the UN headquarters.